Having a web design business can be awesome, or it can potentially be an uphill battle. Now, if like me, you probably got into web design because you love it. And the idea of having your own business means that you can work on your own terms and earn a comfortable living, right? Now, if you feel like your web design business isn't going the way that you'd hoped, you are not alone. But the good news is you can start fixing this by implementing these three things I'm gonna to talk to you about today. Also, I'd like to know where you are currently at in your web design journey. So please guys, let me know down in the comments where you're currently at and what type of challenges you are facing within your web design business at the moment. Now guys, before we jump into this, make sure you hit that like button also hit subscribe and if you want to be notified of future releases hit that bell notification as well also if you haven't done so already go and check out the other videos on this channel there are many more videos around how to build websites improving your web design business and upping your web design game so yeah absolutely check those out now the first problem that i see web designers doing and i was actually guilty of doing it myself is not targeting the right businesses. Now, I'm sure you've heard this before and many people talk about it, and that is niching down. If you niche down, you become an expert in the field that you specialize in, which makes you more desirable when people look to hire a web designer. Now, I don't actually disagree with this, but the problem is if you are a new web designer, niching down can be very difficult. When trying to figure out what type of customers or businesses that you want to outreach to, there's a couple of things that I would consider. So the first thing you need to sort of take a step back and ask yourself when outreaching is, is the business you're about to approach, do they have the money? So there are a couple of easy things that you can look at to identify this. So are they an established business? Do they have a large team? Are they not a startup? Are they not a one man band or a small business? Now, larger businesses are gonna have a larger budget to spend with you. And if you wanna be making more money in your web design business, you're going to have to target the ones that have more money. Another thing to look at here is, does this business offer a high ticket product or a high ticket service? Because if they are someone that sells products or services for like two, three, four, five thousand dollars $5,000, and you try and sell them a website based on generating them X amount of sales more, then that's gonna be a lot more justifiable for them. An example of this would be say a law firm who charges hundreds of dollars an hour. Now just getting one or two extra clients is gonna make it super beneficial for them. Whereas if you're targeting small one-man bands, trying to get them to part way with thousands of dollars for a website is gonna be so difficult. So just be smart with the type of businesses you are outreaching to. Now going back on to the niche side, if you are new to web design, then I absolutely recommend that you pick three businesses that you wanna outreach to. Three businesses that are high ticket, and you have a genuine interest in. Because think about it, if you're producing websites for the same type of business day in and day out, you're gonna to wanna to enjoy that subject. So make sure it's something that you have a genuine interest in. And then eventually, like organically, you'll start finding a niche and a specific area that you serve and you become an expert in. Now, the second reason why your web design business might not be going the way that you hoped is because you have no proven way to find clients. So finding clients is actually a very difficult thing, especially if you don't know how to go about doing it. A lot of you web designers will wait for word of mouth referrals, and that is a very sort of nerve wracking place to be in. Nobody wants to sit there and wait for the next customer to walk through the door without knowing when that would be. You have to implement some sort of inbound or outbound marketing strategy. So first of all, I've spoken about this before, is you need to implement some form of outreach, whether this is cold calling or emailing or DMing via social media, you have to do something. Also while outreaching, you wanna make sure that you're standing out and you're not taking a spammy approach. So again, I've spoken about this before, if you utilize video outreach where you are talking specifically to that business owner, you deliver a very personalized approach, you're gonna get a much better response rate. Now, outreaching manually does require a little bit of time investment, but it's definitely worth it and it doesn't cost you really all that much money. Other ways that you can generate more business is by optimizing your website for Google or SEO, search engine optimization. Investing time and money into your SEO strategy means that when businesses are looking for a local web designer, they're gonna stumble across your website. So that's a great way to start bringing inbound leads to your business. And once you're in a position where you've made a few sales and you've got a little bit of money in the bank, I definitely recommend reinvesting that money into other marketing techniques, such as be it Google paid advertisement or social media, Facebook paid advertisement. This is a great way for you to get your services out in front of more eyeballs and the chances of people connecting with you and contacting you for your services becomes a lot higher. Now, one key thing I wanna stress here is 
whatever way that you're trying to find clients, you need to record it and you need to know your numbers. But what I mean by this is keeping a record of all of the businesses that you either call or email or outreach to. And then you wanna make a record of all of those that respond, all of those that book a meeting with you, and then all of those that you close. And this will give you a very good idea of how much work you have to put in in order to land a new client. And then you can start reverse engineering this. So if, for example, you want to be landing two or three new businesses this month, you will then know on average how many meetings you will need to secure in order to make a sale. You will know how many responses you'll need to make a meeting and you'll know how many emails you need to send out in order to get a response and so on and so on. So with this approach, you can literally generate new business every month by putting in the time and knowing your numbers. Now, the third and final point that I see a lot of web designers doing, which causes their web design business to start failing, is not charging enough for your services. Look, we've all been guilty of underselling ourselves throughout life, be it web design related or not. If you're new to web design, maybe you're struggling to think why a business would spend thousands of dollars with you on just a simple website. But it's this kind of limited belief and limited thinking that you need to try and get rid of and start thinking of yourself more of a consultant that is gonna help a business start generating more money by way of delivering a website that is gonna solve their problems. So ultimately within your business, you have to become a problem solver and start solving the problems that typical businesses have with their website. And just by doing this, you're gonna have the confidence to start charging more money. Now, if you've watched my other videos, you'll know that I'm a big believer in having an initial conversation with a business and trying to figure out what their problems are. I can then deliver a solution to them that's gonna start generating their business more money by way of their website. So if the solution that I'm going to deliver to them starts generating them tens of thousands of extra dollars per month, them spending three, four, five thousand dollars on a one-off fixed fee is gonna be a no-brainer for them. Now, one of the drawbacks of being a web designer here is when you find a new client, you build them a website, you deliver it, and they're super happy. They then say goodbye and they're gone. And you have to kind of go full circle on this on a monthly basis to start generating consistent income. Now, I was in this position once before and it is quite a headache, but actually, if you think about it, delivering a website opens up so many other doors for you. It gives you an opportunity to upsell them to an additional service within your business. So for example, you've delivered a website, but they need to be found on Google. You can upsell them to search engine optimization, or if they're an e-commerce store and they want to start marketing their products online quickly, you could then sell them on Google paid advertisement or Facebook advertisement. And these types of services can start generating your business consistent monthly revenue by way of a retainer. So what actually was maybe a one, two, three thousand dollar client may becomes a twelve to fifteen thousand dollar client over a period of an entire year. Now think about it, you only need four or five of these to start hitting some pretty good income within your business. So guys, they are the three main areas I want you to take a step back and start thinking about more within your business. Make sure you know how to generate new customers at will and also make sure you're not underpricing yourselves. Now, if you found this useful, I will really appreciate it if you hit the like button and subscribe to the channel as well. There's gonna be a lot more videos like this coming in the future, which are designed to help you improve your web design business, start generating more clients, and just improve your overall web design game. Now, as I said earlier, please do let me know down in the comments, guys, where you are currently at within your web design journey. I'd love to hear where you're at and what types of challenges you feel like you're facing at the moment. So that's it for now, guys, and I will see you in the next video.